Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to predict the Premier League table of next season 2023-2024 but I am predicting it before any transfers have been made. It, the transfer season is coming up soon but these are my predictions for before the tra before any transfers are made. The season is now over which means I don't have that many videos planned. Any other um, suggestions of any videos I should do? please um, tell me and either yeah, comment below or DM me on Instagram. And like I said, this is before any of the transfers have been made. So um, this isn't my final predictions. If you do enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Okay, so let's get into the video. In 20th, I have put Luton Town. Now the main reason why I put Luton Town at the bottom of the table is because I just don't think they're gonna be Premier League level by like in September and August when the season starts. I just don't think they're there yet. I just can't see them staying up. I really hope Luton can prove me wrong, but to be honest, I don't think um, they are gonna prove me wrong. I think they're gonna be bottom of the table. Okay, so now in 19th, I have put Sheffield United. Again, similar reason to Luton. I just don't think they are Premier League level. I don't think they um, have enough, like the right players for the Premier League, and also in the Championship, like they did all right. But I think in the Championship, going from the Championship to the Premier League is a massive step up. Yes, they have experience in the Prem. I just, I just can't see them staying up. With, um, and yeah, so I put them in 19th, for 18th. It's, be, it's a bit of a surprising one to be honest, and I'm not sure how many people would agree with me for this one. But I put Bournemouth. Now the reason I put Bournemouth is because yes, this season they've got good they've had a good season, they've had Gary O'Neill who's done an amazing job at Bournemouth and they've got some good players. I think Bournemouth need to really try to keep hold of their players and I think next season they are gonna struggle and I think they're gonna go down. In 17th I have put Wolves. Now I I think they'll survive, but I think they'll it'll be close to Bournemouth. Yeah, I'm not really sure about Wolves, I think it's one of those teams where they could have, like do well in a match or like just do, do badly and to be honest I just don't think they're going to be doing as well as other seasons. For 16th I have put Everton. Now the reason I put Everton in 16th is because they've been near the relegation zone for a few seasons now and also I don't think Everton are doing that well. But actually, thinking about it, I think by the time the Premier League starts to come, I might have put them in a relegation zone. Um, right now, I have put them in 16th. Okay, so now for 15th, I have put Burnley. Now, Burnley um, finished top of the Championship last season. They've got Vincent Company as their manager, who was a great Man City player. Um, the thing is with Burnley, I think they're just going to have an average season. I think they'll get the few, like a few wins and like a few draws, they're not going to do amazingly, I just think they're going to be a really average team. Okay, so now in 14th I have put West Ham. Now West Ham are in the Conference League final and I think but I think the reason why they struggled uh, this season was because they had uh, European football. Now that means that they couldn't just focus on the Prem. No, I have a feeling they're going to do, they're going to seem so much better than um, last season. But to be honest, I have a feeling West Ham are going to struggle. I think they might lose some players like Declan Rice might go. I also have a feeling that um, West Ham are going to struggle with some injuries next season. So yeah, that's why I'm putting them in 14th. In 13th, I have put Nottingham Forest. Now Nottingham Forest have done amazing um, for last season because at the start of the season, um, loads of their players who help them go up from the championship had to go back to their teams because they're on loan which means Nottingham Forest had to quickly find new players and um, and Steve Cooper has done an amazing job as building his team in the season which I think is incredible I think next season Nottingham Forest are just going to be really really good but again like West Ham I think they might struggle with some injuries. In 12th place, I, could, I put my rivals Crystal Palace. Now, I really hate Crystal Palace as a football team because they are rivals of Brighton. And as you can see, I am a Brighton fan. The Palace 
um, Roy Hudson's leaving. There's, there's been talks of Graham Potter going to Crystal Palace, which is a really snaky thing to do. Also, the other thing is I don't think like Crystal Palace might lose some key players. I think Zaha um, might leave. Um, I'm not really sure to be honest, but I just don't think Crystal Palace are going to do too well. But I think they're gonna have, just going to have an average season. Eleventh, I have put. Uh, Fulham. Now, Fulham have actually done all right because at one point, around like fe February and the time, they've been looking that they could even go for European football. Now, Fulham have done quite well with the players that they've got, and I think Mitrovic, he is a really good player. But could he be coming to the end of his amazing football? We don't know. And the thing is with Fulham is that it really could go any way to be honest. Fulham could be amazing or they could be terrible. I made a boring prediction about them. I'm just going to them average. I put them 11th mid table. In 10th, I have put Brentford. Now, I really like Thomas Frank, the manager of Brentford. I just think he's a really good manager and he's done really well at Brentford. And Brentford, um, a bit like Brighton, they're a really good, well run club. And the thing is with Brentford is that they, they find players like Brighton do and they just make them good. The only thing is that their best player, Ivan Tony, has been suspended until January which, because um, of betting and stuff. I just don't really think Brentford are going to like do too well. In ninth, I have put Chelsea. Now, Chelsea have had a terrible season and the main thing is, is that it's just been all over the place. They had Thomas Tuchel, they've had Graham Potter, Bruno Salter and an old Brighton player which kind of made me annoyed that he decided to leave with Graham Potter and then they also had Frank Lampard. Now they've got Pochettino, I think they will have an, um, an alright season next season. They'll definitely have a much better season than last season. They've got some great players though, Chelsea. They've got, Chelsea have got a great squad, but I'm just not really sure. By the time the Premier League actually starts though, you know, I might actually put them in the top four because if they've had a good summer, they've like really sort themselves out. They might go back to Chelsea level, but right now I put them in ninth. In eighth, I put Aston Villa. Now Aston Villa are a great team. Um, they've got Unite Emery, who's done an amazing job at Villa. Who's taken them from I think yeah sixteenth or something to to the Conference League, which is incredible. He's done an amazing job there. However, I'm not really sure if Aston Villa are going to be doing as well as they did this season. I think they're going to do all right. I have a feeling a bit like um, some other teams, they're going to struggle with injuries, a bit like West Ham. But I don't think they're going to get European football again. I think they might even struggle because of the Conference League. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's quite hard to predict. But yeah, for eighth, I have put Aston Villa. For seventh, I have put Spurs. Now, a bit like Chelsea, they've had a bit of like, a bit of a mess of the managers and stuff. They have got some great players. Like, I have a feeling that they're going to do quite good, but not really like Spurs level as you would expect. I'm going to put them in seventh, which is Conference League. For sixth place, I have put my team Brighton. Now, the thing is with Brighton is I have a feeling we're not going to do that well in the Europa League. I have a feeling we might struggle in the Europa League because it's our first season in European football. But I hope we really focus on the Prem because I think Brighton are such a great side. We lose players and we just um, we can replace them and make the players even better. Um, right now it says that McAllister is probably going to go to Liverpool. However, we have got João Pedro coming in and we've got some good other players coming in to Brighton. And I also think Brighton are just going to do quite similar to this season. I think we're going to do quite well and maybe we might struggle with injuries. Ferguson, what a player he is. I think he's going to score so many goals next season. So I'm going to get him in my fantasy team next season. And now for fifth. This one's going to be surprising for so many people. But I put Arsenal. Now the thing is, I just can't see them doing as well as they did this season. In fourth place, I have put Man United. Now Man United have been quite good um, last season. I just think they're going to have a really similar season to last season. I'm not really sure how well they're going to do. I think they'll do quite good, but I think it'll be really similar to last season. In third place, I have put Newcastle. Now, Newcastle are one amazing team. They've got some great players like Isak and Callum Wilson. They've got some really top players. However, I don't think they're going to go for the title race. I think they're going to struggle a bit in the Champions League. 
I just think they're gonna do very similar to last season and that's why I put them in third place. In second place, this is this will probably be another team that will surprise you. I have put Liverpool. Now Liverpool have got some good players. Now I think Liverpool have just had a bit of an unlucky season last season. A bit like Chelsea. I think Liverpool are gonna really bounce back from this and I think they're gonna go for the title race and I think think they're going to end up in second place. In first place, this is a very predictable team and it's probably the one team that I'll probably get right um, for next season, but I have put Manchester City. Now, Man City are an amazing team. Man City are such a good team. They've just won the FA Cup. They've won the Premier League. They've got the Champions League um, what, next week. They've got, they're going for the treble. Like This is incredible. Man City also really like... Um, Pep Guardiola, I think he's a great manager. I just can't really see anyone else winning the league right now other than Man City. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as it would really mean a lot. Also, I am trying to get to 350 subscribers soon, so please subscribe as that would really help me out. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.